All right, guys, this is my first how-to video. I've been asked to do quite a few how-to videos. I was a little reluctant to do them in the first place, but I've decided it might be a good idea. And this was the one video that most have asked me to hurry and finish and get out there to the public so that all those who start up this game can see how to do boarding for themselves. Now, this video is specifically about boarding AI the NPC ships. That is what most new players are having a big problem with, are boarding NPC ships. This is not about boarding players. That is a completely different tactic, a completely different type of boarding. That is something that you will never learn unless you do it enough times. This video is specifically for boarding AI. Now the first piece of this video is going to show you real fast how I like to jump in and board trader brigs, trader snows, any kind of trading ship to quickly shoot its sails down, board it as fast as I can, kill it, take the ship and sell it myself. That is specifically how I like to do it and this video can help you do that to make this process a lot faster. After which I will show you how I board other AI ships and the best way, what buttons to click in boarding which will help you lose less crew and be able to board the other ship and defeat them quicker. Hopefully this video will help and I'm just gonna say let's get started. This is my first uh, how-to video so I'm definitely not very professional at this so bear with me. Now whenever you get into battle with any trader ship, you, you want to tag it while you have the wind. You do not want to tag it downwind or you're just going to have an uphill struggle. Make sure you tag any trading ship or any AI ship, period, with the wind. You want to have the wind gauge on your side. So the weather needs to be on your side. Right off the bat when you join any battle, throw chain on the front, the bow, the stern, and one of the sides if preferred. This is what I do. I Get right into the battle. I start chaining it down as fast as I can. You need to slow down the trade ship. Now I am using a very good crafted snow here. You do not need to have a crafted snow. You can have a, any other regular snow, regular brig, mainly any ship that has more crew than the AI that you are boarding and that is essential you do not want to board any AI player anything unless you have more crew and not just five to ten more crew it would be best if you have at least 50 more crew than the AI that you are boarding now that I've chained this guy down I've gotten my boarding ready by clicking nine I'm not even gonna let my boarding get all the way to full it will but I don't need it to right off the bat I know I can get up next to this guy I do give him a little love tap there but the main purpose of boarding him I don't care to damage him that much I've already got a lot more crew than he does I'm gonna push him into the wind who cares if he shoots me again I've got more crew I can take the hit but right off the bat I'll hit his nose and push him straight into the wind my crews right where I need it to be it's at least above 75 which is what is important once we pushed him into the wind I get that boarding signal, pull him into boarding, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what we need here. So I'm gonna put it on pause. Now, this is very important. I do not have Marines. I don't have, well, I think I do have a musket mod on here. I don't really need one. The main important thing here is my morale, the fact that I have way more crew than he does. Uh, preparation is important for me, the player, not important for AI. Now the AI have been programmed. They have been programmed to have every boarding mod turned on and most likely every boarding book turned on at the same time. That is just how they are programmed. Each and every AI is always going to have Marines. You do not need Marines to beat them. It's just a plus and I will show you later on what Marines can do for you. Again, their morale is higher than ours but that's not what's important at the moment. I have more crew than this little trader brig does. The preparation is what is important and you need to be able to pay attention 
through the preparation of the AI, seeing on how nowadays you cannot see what they click, but I'm going to show you exactly what they are going to do. Now that we're in boarding, we're going to watch the countdown, and I will start going over exactly how to easily defeat any AI. Remember, you do not want to go into boarding unless you have at least 75% preparation, which is actually preferred. All right. Now we have the countdown from 15 down to one. As I just watched on the preparation, you just saw his prep drop. That means he started off right away with either fire deck guns or fire grenades. Let's see, I'm gonna stay on brace, fire grenades. Okay, now we know he did fire grenades. The next thing he's gonna do is drop down. Yep, see, right there, he'll drop down one more. He just did fire deck guns. So let's see what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna attack into his fire deck guns. All right there, killed 13. I killed 20, he killed 13. Right off the bat, he dropped down again to defend. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna go straight to brace. Four, three, two, one, brace. See, he did defend. Now watch, do you see his prep drop? We're gonna go straight to the attack. Why do we go to the attack? Because now he knows that we can change to anything we want. So he's not gonna go off the attack. So we're gonna stay there and bam, fire grenades. His morale went down, that's the end of that. So. That is that easy. It's that quick. I know you might have to rewatch it because it went really fast. Rewatch it if you must. But hopefully that will help you just a little bit to see exactly how you can quickly board the AI. I just needed more crew. I just needed to outsmart him. All AI are going to start off with either fire deck gun or fire, uh, fire grenades. You let that first round go by. Do a brace to make sure he does fire deck guns. After that, you start with the attack. After that, you go to brace, and then you continuously watch his preparation and go right back to attack. I'm actually gonna continue to show you that multiple more times with other AI. Now, here's what I did when I started up this game. I went out with a small ship, like a snow, a brig, a rattlesnake, anything you want, and I started hitting these trade ships. They're not worth much, but if you find them and you capture them and you take their goods take them back to a port sell them and that's how you make some money you're not going to get as much experience because you were capturing a ship you get more xp for sinking an ai than you do for capturing it let's see in fact i'm going to show you right there let's see what does he got he's got some tobacco it's overweight i can't carry all of that even if i take his ship which is quite the pain but i'm going to put some crew on it take it back to port and i'm going to sell it the best i can anyway We'll see that right here. All right, back in port, still overloaded. I'm gonna repair my ship real fast. You'll see that I do have a little bit better snow here. <laughs> but now I wanna make some money off this trader snow. Send it to the docks. Oh, that's right, I don't have an outpost. Does not really matter. I'm going to still take the stuff out of the hold, put it in the warehouse. Get rid of the cannons, because you cannot sell any ship if it has cannons on it. And at that point, no need to repair, just sell it. You made a little bit of money, whoop de doo no one needs that ship. You can always put it on auction if you want. And then after that, let's see, we're gonna go straight into the snow, get rid of some of these. I don't need these cannons. I'm not going to bother selling them back. You won't make much money. But I will sell this tobacco. Whatever that was on some food. Now, let's see how much I make. Not very much, 3,000, but guess what? You're 3,000 reals richer than you were about 10 minutes ago. So there you go. Let's get rid of that. And that's how you make some money. You can constantly do that. And that's how you will uh, make some money and into the game. It's almost better than doing some of those uh, trade missions, in my personal opinion. All right, so... We're going to move on. This is an Essex I captured. I'm actually, I'm going to pause it real fast. Now, I captured this green Essex. It's not good at all. This is an AI one. Fur frame. Oh, planking. Good hope refit. Who cares about that? Goes a little fast. Has almost no armor. I threw a basic rudder on there, which is just going to make the rudder turn faster. Not going to make me turn faster per se, but will make the ship turn faster. I believe I put the just another reload mod and probably a repairing mod on there. I didn't put any boarding mods on this sucker in any way. 
No boarding books, no boarding mods, nothing. Just put some basic cannons on it. This is probably is about a basic of a fifth rate that you can get. Yes, the Essex is a little bit better, obviously, than the snow or than the uh, surprise, the frigate, and most other fifth rates. The Essex might be one of the top of the line fifth rates, but this is a green one, not good in any way. I'm going to take this ship out and show you how to still use a crappy boarded AI fifth rate to board another AI fifth rate, and hopefully this will help. Now we're going to have a little bit of combat in this video. It's not going to go straight into the boarding. I am going to show how I kind of chase down a fifth rate and push him into that boarding if it ever loads up. All right, we should be loaded up here. Are we going against a bell pool? I shouldn't be afraid of the bell pool. Luckily, I'm in Essex. Even though it's a crappy Essex, it's still going to be quite the fight with the bell pool. My main goal here is to knock some of the crew down. Now, I could rage board this bell pool. In fact, I probably should have I've got 315 crew compared to, I believe, his 280. The only difference is, again, he has Marines. That shouldn't matter. I still have more crew. I'm still going to spend a little bit of time shooting some of his crew down. I wish I could actually speed this part up. All right, now I'm actually going to pause the video here real fast. I want to explain something real quick now that I'm thinking about it. Whenever you do these AI missions, so, uh, everyone's going to tell you different how to do things. Uh, I was taught, oh, go on their right side with your right side and keep the wind and try and leak sink them. You can do that. Great. Wonderful. That's not what we're going to do here. I'm going to kind of show some people that are not very good at leak sinking. That is maybe for another video. To start the leak sinking but what we're going to do here is actually do two broadsides to his one and we'll see if that kind of helps you guys show how i take down some ai even with a crappy essex just doing broadsides not worrying about the leak sinking Power there, pull my cells down, give him a good broadside. He doesn't even think of broadsiding me, shoots maybe one cannon. Automatically start my right hand turn. Now, this is where he actually decides he's going to start putting a shot in me, and we'll watch my miserable aiming as usual come to light. Forgot I do have mediums here. Probably should have aimed a little bit higher. Yep, I should have and a little bit closer on that. Again, there's my miserable firing. here but like I said we just opened up that stern he's gonna turn the other way AI are always programmed to sell almost the exact same way 
You can push him into the wind whenever you want. I'm going to try and stay on his turn. It's not going to be very successful. I don't reverse as fast as he turns, as you'll see, and I end up taking a small broadside. Not that important. Some more of my bad aiming. Don't get much in there. Luckily, I knocked his rudder out, which is always a good thing. And definitely something I don't want to do is let him stern rake me. Not a smart idea on my part. Use that manual sailing, we're going to flip right around and aim at him where he's still going to kill a few of my crew. I'm pretty sure at this point I've decided I'm just going to go board this sucker anyway. I've already got well over 50 crew more than him. So let's, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to go after I, you know, miss half my shots. Let's go board this sucker. As you can hear there, I, got, I blew my boarding whistle, hit 9. I'm going to let that start getting up to where we want it. Now, just so you are aware, for all those who do not know, if your crew... Oh, I must have freaking hit the 9 button again. I don't remember doing that. But real fast, when you have boarding turned on and your crew are in boarding, your ship will lose more crew every time you get broadsided. When, you're, when boarding prep is turned off, you do not lose as many crew. So you gotta imagine those crew up there with the hooks getting ready to board. They're very vulnerable. Every time you get broadsided, front, back, stern, any side, you will lose more crew. So you do not want to just blow your boarding whistle and have it turned on at all times. You will definitely regret doing that. At this point, like I said, AI will do the same thing every time. You aim at their butt, they're just gonna push them straight into the wind. I've got my boarding going. We're going to get right up next to this guy, grab him ASAP. Once he's pushed into the wind, he's going to want to attack, mainly because, again, you're aimed right at his rear. Use that manual sailing, depower, drop down to half. You want to slow yourself down. Use the, your manual sails and the wind to stop you. Now, there's my prep up at 80, 90. It's going to get all the way to 100 from the looks of it before I make this board. There we go, boarding ready, pulling. And we're in battle now. Again, real fast, I'm going to pause this. I have no Marines. He does. I have a few more muskets. He has a few less muskets. Now, why does that not matter in this situation? Most of the time, when you are boarding a player, muskets are extremely important. If you have a lot of muskets and the other player does not have a lot of muskets, and you are the one boarding him, you already know that you can defeat him just using musket fire alone. Most of the time, players do not use things like barricades. Barricades stop musket fire. Barricades help prevent your crew from dying from musket fire and cannon fire. Now, because the AI has all the boarding mods and books turned on at all times, they have barricades turned on, which means your muskets are going to be almost irrelevant. I will still use them, and I will show you why. Now, again, no Marines. 
basically the same morale. I have prep. The AI does not have any preparation, which does not matter. The AI does not care about preparation. It is irrelevant for them. It will always go up. He has Marines. I do not. I still have roughly 50 crew more, and that's what's going to make the difference here. So I'm going to show you the moves. Alright, as you saw his prep went down right off the bat, he's started off with either fired deck guns or fire grenades. We have no marines, we do not want to charge into, oh there we go, prep just dropped down and ignore my in-game mouse, I know it's a little weird. There we go, fired deck guns, I stayed on brace, which means his next move, oh, went down four points again, he went to fire grenades. So, we're going to wait for that timer, we're going to hit attack, three, two, one, attack, bam, fire grenades, I killed 34, he killed 24. Now, the AI just went to defend. Since he went to defend, you don't want to attack through defend, you will lose. Get ready for brace. Three, two, one, and brace. There you go. See, there's his defend. Now watch the prep. Nope, it already went down. I hit attack. All right, there we go. He braced again. Look how much I crit killed there. And that's what's important. Watch that. 38. He only killed 11 plus the 2. That's really what dropped his morale. Watch how his morale went down. Now this is how you're going to win these AI fights is taking the morale down to zero. Don't worry about the crew. It's not as important. It's the morale that you want to get rid of. Again, do not worry about their prep. Just keep an eye on it to watch as it drops. So I'm going to make a few different moves in here that will show the difference between just continuing in that same pattern of brace and attack. So now we've just attacked, he braced, I'm stuck on attack, I'm going to wait all the way to the last second because the AI is already on defend. And there he went, you can just see him go to defend because the preparation just dropped. Three, two, you want to wait for the last second, one, brace, and there's that defend. Now I can't remember, I don't believe, no I don't think he even dropped the prep and I probably hit attack way too soon. Now he's never going to change his thing. Let's see what my attack does to fire deck guns. Wow, well, they're fire grenades, I mean. 48, killed quite a few of that. Morale dropped. He's on uh, defend. There you go. Prep went down. We're going to go to brace in two, one, brace. Fire deck guns. Okay, that's definitely something different. Now they, ever, they do this every once in a while. Not as important. You're still on brace. Your prep is still in a good position. Keep an eye on the preparation at this point. Because you are below 60, because you're below 60, you want to let that preparation go back up because if we were to hit attack right now and he hit defend, that would wreck half of our crew. The whole point of this is to lose less crew and kill more of the enemy crew. So we are actually going to stick on brace for this one. Let our preparation get a little bit up there. Now again, you're always going to lose one, they're always going to lose one. Again, we're just going to wait until we get up above 60 again, and then we'll hit the, and we'll start making the push. Now real fast, a lot of players will say, oh, right now you can just keep hitting attack. Just keep hitting attack, and because you have so much more crew than them, that's just going to wear them down, and sooner or later they'll go down and down and down. Well, here's the difference, is that morale. You want to win by the morale. If you were to hit attack right now and just stay on attack, yes, you might kill a few more crew than them every time. But those marines are going to wreck you, which means their morale is going to stay continuously around this number. You're going to lose a lot more crew. You might win in the end, but guess what? You'll win with maybe 10, 12 crew members left. We don't want that. We do not want that, so that's why we're not going to hit attack and just stay on attack. That's actually a very poor move. You can do that uh, when you have a lot more crew than the AI. So we are on 70 prep here. He just did fire grenades. We can wait. We might wait until he does fire deck guns again. I probably do not need to, but we're gonna do that anyways. Here we go, brace. Okay, he's most likely gonna do fire deck guns. Keep an eye on the prep, it just dropped. We're gonna go down to attack. We're gonna push right through this. He's only at 10 morale. Two, one, and there we go. I must have missed that button. Fire deck guns. Well, now we know for a fact that we can hit the attack button. He's got no morale. We've got this one in the bag. 
And that's it. There you go. As you can tell, morale down. Way more crew. He only killed 84. I killed 175. And guess what? I'm leaving with a lot more crew than I would have if I did this any other way. That was a few more moves on this one, but it, hopefully it shows you exactly what you need to do and what you need to pay attention to. Just keep an eye on that prep. Now we're going to do a few more boardings. Hopefully that will get it drilled into your mind of what buttons to push and when to push them and what to pay attention for. All right, now we are gonna show you the difference in crew here. And I've now got Marines. I've got a much bigger ship. This is a third rate versus nothing but a few little fifth rates. I outnumber the crew by quite a substantial amount. Doesn't, again, does not matter about their preparation. They have Marines, I have Marines. I also have a lot of muskets, but again, those muskets do not matter, but I'm still gonna use them and I will show you what happens when you use muskets against AI and why they are irrelevant. But because I have Marines, I can be a lot more careless. I can actually be a lot more aggressive as well because I have a lot more crew. And that is the main point now. But again, the AI is going to do the same thing. And we're going to show you how to just quickly cap and get it over with and get to the next guy. Again, just ignore the in-game mouse. It, I, wasn't, I was talking to myself, I'm sure. Yep, still talking to myself while in-game. So you just dropped prep, we're going to attack right through. Fire deck guns, doesn't matter. Look how many crew I killed compared to him. His prep went down, he's in crew shock. There's the morale, he's still got less crew. So should we stay on attack? No, we're still going to go to brace because I don't want to lose very many crew. 2-1, brace. He went on defend and his prep went down. So we go back on the attack because his prep went down. You want to click it that fast. Why? Because if you notice the timer over there, now that he knows you can click on something else, he's not going to click on anything else. Here we go. Ooh, look how much that dropped his morale. Put him into crew shock again. Because I have those marines, I am slaughtering this guy. Now I could just stick on attack, but again, I'm going to go back to brace. Because he defended, I don't want to lose any crew. He dropped his prep. I'm going to hit attack again. And we'll just wait. He's got 13 morale. He's not going to make it through this one. And there you go. That was one, two, three, four, five turns. He's done. Zip, zilch, zero. That was quick and simple. Let's see, let's grab some crap off him real quick. As usual, crap. So, let's head over to the next little victim over here. could board him right there but I'm gonna get right up next to him because I still want to fire deck guns while in boarding and because I'm just being a pain Come on. Oh, 
Okay, again, just jumping right on into this. No crew. I got a lot more crew, but I want to save as much crew as possible because I'm about to board three ships. Now, if you can't tell, I just fired my left broadside. How did I do that? It is the right and left brackets. So, this guy has quite a bit more morale, but no crew, no prep. Who cares? We're going to start right off with the attack. And one. Attack, fire grenades. I just destroyed his crew. He just went to defend. What are we going to do? We're going to go to brace because we know he's on defend. We're going to wait to the last second. Three, two, one. There, he's on defend and watch his prep. It doesn't even matter what his prep is. We're still going to just throw an attack through there because we know it went down. And that's the end of that. Now look, he killed 20. I killed 103. Why is that important? Because I wanted to save my crew. I do not want to keep spending money on crew. I want to have more crew for the next boarding. If I'm going to board three ships in one battle, you want as much crew as possible. Uh, let's go catch that last little bastard that's trying to run away. That's what I get for leaving one mast up. Manual sailing, go down to half, slow us down, depower. Let's see if we can't still grab this guy as fast as we can. Now, remember to board, you need to be at 3.5 or below. The AI only needs to be at about 3.8, so just be aware of that. If you're going about 3.7, they can grab and board you, and you will still be surprised. Not that old, bring this guy in now. This is going to be a little different. My crew is about just 174 more than his. He's got Marines. I've got Marines. I'm not at a big advantage. I'm going to make a few mistakes on this one just to show the difference of what will happen. Again, it does not matter about his preparation, but let's pay attention to it anyway. He's dropped prep, which means he started off with fire deck guns or fire grenades. Let's do attack. There we go. Already put him into crew shock. Now I could win this boarding within about five to six, six turns. But again, we're going to make this one a lengthy one to show you some of the other buttons that we can hit. So brace, last second. Yep, you hit fire deck guns. I probably could have kept the attack through there. You never know, so that's why you do brace. But he is going to brace on this next turn, so we are going to attack through it. There you go. See, there's the difference again. Brace. Keep an eye on his preparation up there. It's not going to go anywhere. I have no prep, therefore I can't do anything. So now at this moment, I'm going to have to just wait until my preparation goes from 30, at least up into the 70s, before I want to make another move. Now it's going to suck. We're going to have to let him do his fire grenades, fire deck guns, this and that, and it's going to kill quite a bit more crew of ours than we will of his, even if we do have Marines. That does not matter. We're still just going to keep our patient. So he's just dropped his prep, which means it did something. I still cannot attack. It's too late, so we're just going to hold off on that brace. Sixty-nine preparation. I can definitely do an attack at this point because he'll most likely brace. Yep, there we go. Forty to twenty-three. Now I have no prep. I'm going to try musket volley. It is going to show you exactly what musket volley will do against AI when they defend. We know they're on defend, so let's hit that musket volley, and you'll see. Oh, I, I missed the musket volley. Never mind. Well, at least one thing you can see right here. I just did an attack into his defend. I lost twenty, or I killed twenty. He killed about 49, 49 crew altogether. That's a defend, which is why you don't want to attack into a defend. Look, he had lots less crew than me. I had 327 to 164. I have more Marines than this person. I have a little less morale now because of what happened, but I have more muskets. That does not matter. 
Look at what happens when you attack into a defend. Now, look how many crew I lost compared to that. Now, I can sit here on attack all day. I am going to lose more than half of my crew. I would barely win this battle with maybe 100 if I was lucky. That is why we don't want to sit there on attack. And so if anyone tells you I just sit on attack, do not just sit on attack when it comes to AI. They will kill most of your crew and still have a chance at winning. All right, so we're not going to make that mistake again of sitting on attack. We'll go to brace, let our preparation get back up. prep is at 84 now that we're up to about 81 we can start making a move they just fired that gun let's wait until last second hit attack here there we go brace i killed quite a few more at this point we're going to go right back to the old thing we're going to do musket volley because we know that he's on defend so we know that he's on defend let's see what musket volley does to defend there we go look i only killed 11 to his two that's because they have uh, the books turned on. They have barricades, so it's not going to do anything versus an AI. We're now going to go to Brace. We'll have to get our prep up before we make another major move. guys don't forget to use that every once in a while all right we're at a good point 81 preparation to his 93 who cares about theirs so they drop let's get ready to attack last second three two one we'll hit attack and there you go it's over no prep 63 crew we killed 37 to the 10 on that last one let's go back real fast right right here as you can tell total kills he killed 193 of my crew now i mean that should never happen and i could i never needed it to happen i should have easily defeated this ai but i just wanted to show you a few different uh, buttons and what they do and what happens when you do the wrong thing i still killed 245 but look at what i i mean i started with over 370 something crew here i had a lot of crew that i've just lost for absolutely no reason So that is the difference, and if you click the right things, you could have defeated this AI within five, six, seven moves with ease. You just have to keep uh, keep following the the brace attack, brace attack. I would suggest you guys continue to rewatch this video if you have to. So if you have to constantly watch how I do it, it will definitely help until you get it down to where it will be so easy to board every AI you get to. Now I've got one last video here. It's going to show you what happens when you board or when you get boarded by an AI. The reason I'm going to show you that is so that you understand that you will most likely not win. You cannot win against an AI if they rage board you last minute. You always want to have more crew. If you do not have more crew, you do not want to be close to an AI that can board you. Let's see if we can uh, hold that video and we'll get started on that one. All right, so here I am. I'm in a frigate versus a, I think it's a surprise, and I had to lose quite a bit of crew just to make sure he can board me. He's got 240, I've got 229 at the moment. I'm pushing up against him because every, if you push against the AI, they push back. Let's see if we can't slow down and get boarded here. I've even started up my prep here. 
So this is even if you have prep and the AI have more crew than you, they will board you. Go up to 60 and let's see what happens. Turn away last second. Perfect. Just so they can turn back. Alright, so I want to push him into the wind to get this sucker to board me. I'm going to aim at his rear. And we'll just follow him all the way around until he puts himself right into the wind. We might even push him ourselves. Come on, sucker, hold still. Board me. Alright, there we go. And now I'm pulling. There we go. Now I've been boarded. I have less crew. He has Marines. He has more crew. I'm still prep prepped up to 55. But that's not going to matter because he has more crew. That means he can attack. Now, if the AI ever has less crew, they will never attack. They will never counterattack or attack. They will only counter or attack, period, if they have more crew. Now, we know on this first go-round, he's going to most likely do fire deck guns or fire grenades. What are we going to do? We're going to stay on brace. Fire deck guns. Yep. Watch that prep go down. I'm going to make a mistake because I don't know what he's going to do next. I think he's going to attack, but I'm pretty sure he doesn't. He doesn't attack, but I'm going to hit defend anyways because I thought he did. And fire grenades. Yep, see, just lost crew. Now, I wasn't watching, but he just dropped down again, and he hit attack. I don't think he does. So what am I going to do? I'm going to go to brace, which is the mistake I'm going to make here. Musket follies. Now he went to attack, I'm pretty sure. Personally, I could do a video on how to get out of this. That's what I should do. But staying on brace is a bad idea, because he attacked. And his attack... Did not kill my crew, but it killed my morale, and that's what was important. If your morale goes down, you're done. And he won just by killing 51 crew. So, let me tell you right now, you will not win against AI if they board you and you have less crew. And your preparation is not ready. If you do get boarded and your preparation is ready, you can just sit on defend, click defend, hit disengage, and you can ride it all the way out until you get out of it. And pray you do and get away as fast as you can. That is the only chance you have. If you stay in boarding and your prep is not ready, one to two turns, that AI is going to board you. They're going to attack you. If you're not ready to hit defend when they hit attack, they are going to just wreck you in one to two turns, and that's the end of your ship. If you do not have more crew than the enemy AI, do not get close enough for them to board you because AI are programmed to rage board. They are programmed to grab and board you as soon as they find you have less crew than them, they will board you at any circumstance. It does not matter what ship, most of them will board you if you have less crew. So if you have less crew than any ship, do your best to keep your distance and don't get caught in one of their turning traps where they just push you into the wind and board you themselves. That so far is the end of this video. This hopefully helps all you newbies out there with boarding. It'll hopefully help all those who get confused on the boarding and hate being boarded and get in boarding AI themselves. Hopefully this will help you get better at it. This video is going to be edited a few times, hopefully uh, making this a little bit easier, maybe a little bit shorter. Uh, I would highly suggest you guys continue to go back and re-watch this video if anything gets confusing. Just send me a message, type something in here, let me know, and I will try my best to explain. Uh, there will be more videos to come. I'm going to try to do a few how-to videos to help out with all the new players that are jumping into the game. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.